Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video today. I'll be talking about Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. So I'm gonna start off with the non-spoilery things that I want to say about this book. So first of all, I just want to say that I really enjoyed myself while reading this. So I've heard mixed reviews about this book, so I went into this without any expectations so that, you know, I didn't have like these expectations and the things that really happened were like this. I just went into this book completely blank, not wanting to know anything, not wanting to expect anything, and it was great. It is not my favorite fantasy book of all time, but it was a really good story in my opinion. The book was very entertaining, like most of the times I was super entertained and there was always something going on, but just a few moments I was like the plot is okay at this moment. So if you still haven't read Red Queen by Victoria Aver, you definitely should. The second book in the four book fantasy series is coming out next week on February 9th and I am really excited to read Glassword very soon. So right now, if you have read this book and you want to know my spoilery opinions, I'm going to tell them to you guys because I have written them down in this notebook. If you haven't read it right now, click away and watch this video a different time. So let's start with the spoilery thoughts. So I truly think that most of you guys want to know my opinion on Cal and Maven, but I will talk about that a little bit later in the video because I think that will be the most fun to talk about. So I will leave the minutes number thing on where I will be talking about Cal and Maven. But first, let me say that the beginning of this book, I thought that it was a great beginning. Like first Friday in the arena with all of these silver showing off their powers and dueling. I thought that it was a very interesting beginning because you could see the powers that a few of the silvers had. Of course, you didn't see all of them, but you were introduced to them in a very creative way. I really liked all the powers that all the silver people had. And exactly like Mara said, it was just some sort of way for the silvers to show the reds how powerful they actually are. To show them that they need to be afraid of the silvers because they are very strong or they can make you do things that you really don't want to. One of the things that I really liked about the beginning of this book was to see Killorn and the relationship that he had with Mare. That was also something that I really missed uh, during the book. I was like, I wish we could have seen more of Killorn because after he joined the Scarlet Guard, I thought that he was, I don't know, he was acting all cocky and he was just like, yeah, you don't need to save me. I'm, I'm taking care of myself. You know, sometimes I thought that Killorn was kind of annoying. So yeah, I would just, I just wish that we could have seen Killorn and Mare's friendship a lot longer than just those like five pages or something and then she just talked about it. So when Mare was sent to the royal court and that she had to work for the king and queen and like in the arena, um, I thought that scene was very interesting, especially when Mare fell onto like that electric fence thing or something. I thought that she was going to be immune to pain and that was going to be like her silver power. But then you actually found out that she was that she had this special power with electricity and I thought that that was very interesting and also a very creative power. That was also something that I really enjoyed. During this book you saw Mare's power really, you know, grow. First she didn't know how to deal with her power and then she learned uh, dealing with her power with Julian who I thought was a very interesting character. He wasn't like super special to me but I did really like him. I mean he teached Mare all about her powers and about the silvers and you know, he was actually really nice to her and he was very interested in why she has red blood, but you know, she does have silver powers. So a few of my favorite scenes were the ones where the Scarlet Guard were like planning all of these rebellion acts. I thought that they were super well thought of and also very action packed, especially the one at the ball where they needed to kill like the four very important like generals and all those other people and my god all of a sudden the sun is shining. And that scene when Mare and Julian were helping all of the four Scarlet Guard members to escape, that scene was just badass. I loved it so much. You know, Julian singing to those people, making them do things. And I feel like Julian and Mare are like the best combination ever until so far while, you know, with their powers, like they both did an amazing job. I mean, Mare can control the cameras and Julian can control the people. And then my last favorite scene was the training when Mare, finally went to like that power training thing, but that scene when they were dueling each other with their powers, I immediately knew that Evangeline was gonna challenge Mare. Yeah, and that scene was also pretty epic. I really loved all the fighting and all the action. They both were extremely strong and Oh, it was just, again, such a great scene. Right now, I'll be talking about Cal and Maven because I mean, we all know that this was like 
the biggest thing in the book. I already knew from the beginning when on like pa around page 60 or something, she met this guy named Cal. I was like, that's gonna be a prince or something. I thought that Cal was gonna be the prince that she was gonna be betrothed to, I guess that's how you say that. But then you found out that she was actually gonna marry Maven. And there was like this constant battle between the two brothers, like who she gonna choose and you know, who she gonna end up with. So in the beginning, I really liked Cal, but then you started to know Maven and you know, Cal was more of like, the Silvers need to rule and they need to do this and that. I was, when he said that, I was just like, okay, hmm, Cal is kind of moi. Then you saw Maven and he was very sweet, very understanding. And I thought that it was also really great that he um, entered the Scarlet Guard. But then that twist, oh my God, I didn't see that one coming. That scene where um, Alara controls like um, Cal's actions and she actually makes Cal kill his father. You found out that Alara and Maven had already planned all of this to happen. My mind was blown. I knew that there was gonna be a twist at the end, so I was expecting something to happen. That was very unfortunate because I would have loved it even more if I didn't knew that there were that there was gonna be such a big twist. So I was constantly expecting something to happen, but I thought that maybe one of the princes had red blood as well. Something like that, but not that Maven was betraying Mera. There will have probably been people who did expect it, I just didn't, and I thought that it was a great twist. It made me feel so bittersweet, like the twist was so good for the story but I was just so disappointed that Maven betrayed Mare all along because in the end I liked Maven a bit more than Cal um so yeah I also didn't really like the makeout scene with Cal in the ballroom I was feeling so confused I was like I like Cal but I also like Maven and I don't know with whom I want her to end up with. I'm very excited to see what will be coming in Glass Sword. I feel like Victoria Averett is gonna kill one of the characters. I really don't hope it's gonna be Farley because she's like this big leader from the Scarlet Guard. But then again, maybe she will kill a Farley because then Mare could stand in her place. I'm just really excited to see where this story is gonna go. Um, I hope that it's gonna be even better than Red Queen. I already really enjoyed this one. I gave it a 3.75 out of five stars. I'm very interested to see what you guys thought of Red Queen and maybe you have also a few thoughts on who Victoria Aveyard might kill off because I feel like someone is gonna die in Glass Sword. I'll leave your opinions in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this book talk, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!